Hi, it's it's Billy from Basketball, back for another session today. Today's session, we're gonna go into a hip focus, okay? All round workout, lots of different bits coming into play today, but every muscle getting worked on the body. Equipment wise, two dumbbells, two kettlebells, whatever you've got weight bearing, okay? Gonna need a little bit of body weight stuff coming into play as well. And again, like normal, safe bit of space to work in. Let's get ready to go. So we're gonna start off with our warm up, just on the spot, nice and steady, okay? And just keeping that back nice and tall, arms working alongside, and we're gonna just go in for 20 seconds per movement, and then we're gonna start adding to the jog as we go along. First 10 out of the way. So five seconds, I want you to get those heels right up towards those glutes, right up to the bum. Off we go, so we're aiming towards the glutes every rep, arms coming alongside, just keep it on the spot for that 20 seconds as well. So warm up to begin with, a little bit of mobility bits, and then straight into the main objective for today. Right, knees up, high knee run. So just starting to come a little bit faster on the spot, arms going alongside the body, back nice and tall again. That's it, let's keep the tempo, knees coming up towards the hips, Five seconds. We're gonna go into two jacks, two squat jumps. So two jacks, two squat jumps, coming in. Alternate between the two. Nice deep breath in. Exhale as we get up. Five seconds. We're straight in to your reverse lunge. Three, two, one. Let's take it back. Nice big step. Focus on that bend in the back knee. Keep the feet slightly apart as well. So we're not crossing the same line path. Both legs are getting as much work as each other. And we're just pushing from that front heel. Five seconds to go. Posture, is that still intact? Engaging through the core. Five seconds. We're in on press up position. Three. Two, one, down we go. Knees or feet, you decide. It's just a warm up. Get the chest down, pushing up through with nice straight arms. So leading through that chest every time. Head focus down, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and then drive it in. Squat. Plank, wide, jump. Exhale as we get those feet off the ground. Inhale as we lower. Four, three, two, one. Stop there. Okay, warm up out of the way. Just gonna come into a little bit on the focus on the mobility part of things. Get a little bit of space. And let's get the shoulders rotating one way. And then we're also gonna then start taking them back the other way as well. Really stretching up nice and tall, keeping the posture, keeping that back as neutral as we can. We are coming to shoulder level. Smaller circles, a little bit faster. And then we're going to take it back the other way as well. So good, nice and steady. Keep that breathing coming in. Open up the stance. And let's get those shoulders up and down. So think about those shrug rotations. We're going to go three one way, three back the other way. Stretch up to the top. And then we're going to come four. Rotation around the body. So aiming to get nice and low towards the ground. We're going to go two in one direction, two back in the other way. So let those fingers come right down towards the floor, stretching up nice and tall, down and around, back the other way. Last repetition. Then we're going to take it into one more count to follow. Stretch it up, and we go into one walk out. Shoulders come over, drive the feet together, 
pushing down the back into the stretch. Slowly down onto all fours. We're gonna come into your focus, rising up through the upper back. So releasing the breath as we come up. Inhale through the nose as we come down. So releasing the breath every time. One more repetition. And then we're gonna bring the hands forward a pace, pushing the hips down into the ground, head up. And sitting down and back on your heels. So remember, this is an active stretch, so we don't wanna be here too long, about two to three seconds. Down and back on the heels. Let's come out one more time. Deep breath in. And that release. From here, I want you to bring yourself back in onto the all four setup. We're going to take one of the feet to the outside of the hand. Hand furthest away from you, follow it right up to the top, and then place back down. So, notice when we come into this movement, we push that front knee towards the big tail of the front foot, and then we follow the arm up to your furthest range of movement, placing down and bring it back under. So we're gonna alternate the setup. Every time, swap the legs over and come back underneath. Now we release that breath as we follow the hand up. It's important to keep that breathing going all the way through these movements. I'm gonna go last one on this side. Follow the hand up and place back down. Okay, push back into that stretch. Drop the head down, walk the hands in, and slowly start to stretch up. Dropping the shoulders down and back. Right, grab yourself a quick drink a moment, and I'm gonna talk you through the first little bit of focus. So, there will be a combination, some weighted bits, some body weight stuff coming in, so just keep your ears out for when we need the weights and when we don't need the weights. First bit, without the weights. One minute on the clock. We're gonna break it down into four movement patterns. Have a look. We're gonna start two squat jumps. One walk out. One frog jump. Then work it in, go again. Two squat jumps, one walk out, frog jump, back in. So you always go for a half burpee to finish that last bit. Right, one minute on the clock. How many rounds can we get through? Three, two, one, let's go. Two squat jumps, one walk out, frog jump, half burpee, start again. Two squat jumps, one walk out, frog jump, half burpee, into those squat jumps again. One walk up, frog jump, half burpee. Start again, keep it going. Work those legs in, frog jump, half jump. So when we come down on the squat jump, nice and upright. As we go down to the plank, frog jump, followed by your half burpee. Almost there now, come on. Legs should be burning. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and stop in there. Okay, that's one minute on the clock out the way. First one minute challenge. We've got another one minute challenge to focus on. And we're gonna put ourselves in with some weighted bits coming next. Grab one weight, and we're gonna talk it through how that's gonna come into play. Two squat jumps. Now if you've got a kettlebell, you can go on the handle, otherwise, lock the weight underneath the chin. So we're gonna go two squat jumps. Upright row for two, then we're gonna go weight under, 
speed jack. Okay, now if you've got dumbbells, you grab one as well. Okay, you'll come in, same focus, you'll go straight in for your two squat jumps. Then you'll come over into your upright row. Then you'll go two of those before we get that speed jack, before we go back to your squat jump. So you've got the option there, either or. Right, one minute on the clock. I'm gonna go two hands on the handle. Three, two, one, off we go. So really upright as we come in to your squat jump. Lower chest, no higher, and then speed jacks in. Back to the start. Release that breath. Two upright rows. Get the weight underneath the chin, straight out onto your speed jack. Go again. Now we want to focus on coming in with those upright rows. Don't forget those. Underneath, drive wide, drive in. Go again. Upright row, two. Back still nice and tall. Weight locked under. Two speed jacks. 15 seconds. Upright row, back really tall through those rows. Legs wide, legs in. Five seconds guys, one more. Four, three, two, one. Stop there. Okay, quick sip on the board again. That's your two one minute challenges there, okay? Just to start getting that heart rate up, getting that blood flow into the lower and upper body. Next objective, coming into play. We're gonna go into our triceps repeater, which basically means we work with three exercises. We go uh, first exercise, for example, that's gonna be our drop squat. Legs in. That's our first movement. The second movement will be your upright row. Or if you've got dumbbells, one in each hand, coming in with your high pull. That's your second movement. And the repeater bit comes in because you repeat the first exercise, okay? So we're gonna work with one weight to start, and then we're gonna go with your upright row with also one weight, or if you've got dumbbells, you'll move to the double. Then we return back to your drop squat. Right, 25 seconds on the first one. 25 on the second, 25 on the third. Are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So focus on the drop squat. First, take the legs wide, jump them together. Now that can be done at whatever tempo works for you. Lock the weight underneath the chin. Really upright. Working down, we've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Straight in, upright row. So you go for as many repetitions as you can. Remember, if you're on dumbbells, one in each hand, you're going in with a high pull. Similar movement with the elbows up, above the shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Weight locked under, drop squat. Let's go. Quick on those legs, back together. Get those hips down. Nice and upright. Keep the weight in the heels. Five seconds, come on, got two more reps. Three, two, and stop there. Okay, that's our first tricep out the way. So the next bit we put the focus on, we're gonna change the movements up. We're gonna start with your pair, and we're gonna work for the same durations, but this time, clean press to start with. Get ready, three, two, one, let's go. So straight arms coming down. Slight bend as we get underneath the weight and then press it up to that 12 o'clock position. Now your stance is wide enough so you can fit both weights between the legs, but not too wide that it stops you from coming down in a nice fluid movement. 
Okay, you're reaching your five seconds. Three, two, one. Drop one of your weights. We're gonna come straight in. Squat, three pulses. Two, three, drive it up. So three pulses, and then straight up through the heels, back down again, ready to go. So notice my chest is lifted. I'm looking forwards. I've got that knee level as that minimum marker. Five more seconds, let's get there. One more, and stop there. Back to the top, we repeat that first exercise. Off we go, down, drive the weight. We wanna make sure every time we fully extend those arms. Inhale through the nose, exhale as we press. Getting down, 10 seconds. Come on, two more, two more reps. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop in there. Well done. So that's our second round on your triceps. We've got the third basis coming in. Now for that third set, we're gonna go body weight. Okay, got a few options coming in here. I'm gonna show you them. So the first movement is your power lunge. One to the next. If you're not a fan of that movement, we're gonna go for a normal squat jump on the spot. So you decide. The second movement is gonna be a press up jack. So I'll show you that one as well. You've got a couple of options again. You go with the press up, even on the knees, and then two jacks coming in before back down. If you want to make it harder, you stay on the feet, and we go press up and jack at the same time. So you decide what you wanna go for there. Let's get ready to go. We're gonna start straight in, jump lunge. Off we go. So really deep on that back knee. We wanna push off your front foot. Keep that breathing and keep that range of movement. Because we're body weight now, we need to really focus on the depth to really compensate the weight. Four, three, Two, one, down we go. So knees or feet, let's go. I'll start with you down here. So press up, two jacks. Back down. If that feels okay, we're gonna stay on the feet. Press up and jack together. So deep breath in, exhale up. Almost here again, come on. Five seconds, four, Three, two, and one. Back up we go. Straight into your power lunge. Off we go. Deep on the back knee. We use that front heel to go from one to the next. 15 out the way. Last 10 seconds. Come on, all the way through now. Deep, push it up. Four, three, Two, and one. Shake the legs off, get the breathing back, under control. Okay, recovery. So, we know the movements. We've worked our way down and through one round. We're gonna go for another round. Nothing changes, exactly the same again. From the top. First round, one weight needed. Drop squat and the upright row or the high pull. Are we ready? Round two, three, two, one. Let's go. So down, drive the legs in, straight into the upright position and back down to lowest points again. Keep the breathing, really important. Exhale as you come out, inhale as you come in. Four, three, two, one, stop there. Upright row, all the high pull. You wanna keep that weight really close to the body. No higher than the lower chest. Keep the head focused forwards to help keep that neutral spine. 
down to your 10. Let's get the reps in. Speed them up now. Four, three, two, stop there. Back to the starting movement. Off we go. Drive the legs in, straight back down. Keep really upright. Find your focus point. We have got 10 more seconds. Come on team, let's go faster now. A little bit deeper. Straight back in. Four, three, two, one. Stop there. Nice work. We've got the second lot of triceps coming in. We go clean and press with both weights. We then drop it to one with three pulses at the bottom. Okay, pair the weights up. Are we ready? Off we go. So clean, bend, press. Now notice as I get underneath the weight, it's not too deep. You should be looking about a three quarter bend of the knees and acceleration up through the arms. Got that five seconds, come on. And again, three, two, one, stop there. One weight down, one under. Let's go. Three pulses, straight up through the heels. Go again. Nice deep breaths in the whole way through the set. Are we low to ground? Are we upright? Is the breathing there? Got five seconds, want one more. Three, two, and stop there. Pair it up, clean and press. Off we go, finishing that second tricep on the round. All the way down, underneath. Heads focused at that screen. Imagine you're looking in the mirror. Always a neutral position on the spine. We've got 10 more seconds. That is two reps from every one of you. Come on, last one. Three, two, one. Stop there. Good effort. Quick drink if you need it. We're gonna go into one more tricep. This time, you're gonna put the focus on those body weight movements. Power lunge, press up from the plank jack. Then we repeat it. Okay, five seconds, get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. This is your last round. This is where we need to up it. We need to find that extra gear and we need to get those additional reps low to ground. Get that breathing in from the start. Push from your front foot. Remember, squat jumps if you're not a fan of the power lunge. Three, two, one, down we go. Knees or feet, off we go. Press up from the jack. Chest low, straight up through. Deep breaths in, exhaling out. We have got five more seconds. Three, two, one, stop in there. Straight back up. Last set, the third movement, the repeater. Off we go. It's gonna be heavy on those legs. This is where it needs to get a little bit deeper again. Can we keep it? Nice soft bend in the knees. Down to your 10 more seconds. Come on guys, all the way. Five, four, three, two, and stop there. Good work. Grab your rest time. Shake the legs off. That is your triceps. Kept all of that demand all the way through there. Good effort. We're going into our last bits now. Okay. Deep breaths in. Exhaling out. We're going to finish on a 90 second challenge. We're gonna go into six by six supersets, okay? Let me break that down for you. Two exercises, one straight after another. Your rep range, six repetitions. 
the first movement we're going to go into, we've touched base on one of them, is going to be your bent over row. Tuck the chin to the chest. Fully extend out. I'll show you on the side as well. So you can see that back is kept nice and neutral as you drive the elbows back towards the hips. You're going to go six bent over rows into six clean and presses. Your aim is to get as many rounds through 90 seconds on the time. Okay, let's get ready. Come on. Three, two, one, let's go. So six bent over rows to begin with. Make sure we fully extend those arms down. Stand it up, six, clean and press. Press those arms up, really tall. And we go straight from one into the next. Got three more reps. Let's keep them coming. Make sure you keep count. We're gonna go back to the rows after this next one. So after this rep, straight over, six bent over rows. So drive the weight up, slowly meet those shoulder blades in together. And then fully extend up, go again. Six repetitions. Straighten the arms underneath. Got four to go. We are working down to your last 20 on the time. My aim is to get back to the rows. What can you get to? 15 seconds. Body over. Six on the rows. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop there. Rest time. That was 90 seconds of work coming in. We worked with those two exercises. I think we're going to chuck another one in. A little Billy bonus. Come on. We're going to get it in through that lower body. We're going to go into two different movements. The first one is going to be your reverse lunge. Weights by the side of you. Coming down, all the way back in. You're gonna go six on your lunges, six uh, squat and presses. So you're really gonna know about that lower body working. Okay, we're ready. Five seconds. Let's get your feet slightly apart. We're gonna go core to finish with. Three, two, one, let's go. So six lunges. To start with, deep breath in, exhale as you push off. Now watch your six are out the way. Straight up, shoulder level. Down, pressing up. So take it low, press the weight up to the top. Once you've done your six, you're straight back to your lunges. Weights by the side, off we go. Focus on those feet, slightly apart. Keep your balance, even if that means you take a little bit longer about the exercise. Once your six are done, weight up, down again. Press from the squat. Once your six, can you get back? To the lunges. Keep the breathing. We've got 15 seconds on the time. Let's get there before the clock. Can you start your squat and press again? Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and stop there. Drop the weight down, shake the legs off. Your second 90 second challenge there. Good effort if you could keep that going right to the end. We're gonna finish on the core. 
Okay. Go lie down on your back. Now we're gonna go six movements from the core. Now each one of these movements, you're gonna work for 20 seconds on the time. We're gonna start off with your heel taps. Get ready, three, two, one, let's go. So stretching either side of the body here. It's only 20 seconds of work, which means we need to get the reps out from the start. Keep those shoulders lifted. Three, two, one. One leg straight, let's go. Can you keep that heel from touching the ground? We're gonna go 20 seconds per leg. Get the shoulders up to meet it. Three, two, one. Other side, let's go. Notice we've got the bent knee. What that's doing there is allowing you to get those shoulders up that little bit higher. Five seconds, come on. Four, three, two, one. Stop there, hands under, legs up. Let's go, one down, one up. So with your hands under, you should be able to keep that back a little bit more supported. If you wanna make it harder, keep them above your chest. Deep breaths in, exhaling out. Four, three, two, one. Upright, cross over, lean back, let's go. Now at any point, pop the feet down, but you need to find that correct position where your body is evenly balanced out by leaning back as total amount and getting those feet away from you. Four, three, keep the head focused forwards. Two, one, stop there. Plank on the elbows. Let's go. Hips down, shoulders directly over. Relax through the upper back. Deep breaths in, exhaling out. We are down to your last 10. Five, four, three, two, stop there. Take it onto your hands, hold it there. All the weight bearing in the heel of the hand. So we're in front support. Deep breaths in, exhaling out. Make sure we're nice and straight. Have a quick glance to the side. If you're not, tuck it under. Relax through. Four, three, two, and one. Drop down. Good session there, guys. Good work. Let's come back up onto your feet. Got rid of any sweat in the eyes. And grab yourself a fat drink on board there. So everything getting work today. At the moment, when working in these blocks, about five, six minutes, sometimes shorter, of intensity. Getting every little bit of energy before you move on to the next block. So keep thinking of it as three to four different blocks, put everything into it, you know you move on to something completely different. Right, stretching off. Open out wide. Deep breath in. We go again this time, stretch to the floor. And just hold it there. If you're feeling a little bit more flexible, take those hands a little bit lower to the ground. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. One foot side on, bent knee forwards. Elbow resting. Again, you can take it to the ground if you, again, need a little bit of a deeper stretch on that groin area. And then take the other one to the side, and exactly the same. That's it. And just hold it there. That's it. Well done. Bring it back in. Okay, we're going to get the quads up at the back now. So keep the legs in close together, and try and keep that focus on something about 10 feet in front of you. 
Help keep that balance. Pull the foot right back to the glutes. And then you just slowly release that leg back down. Then we're going to bring the other one up at the back. So let's just hold it there again. Keep that position. And give those a shake off. So shake the lower body off there. And let's just take a couple of shoulder rotations one way. And let's take a couple back the other way as well. Legs and feet together, arm across, that one above the elbow, turn the head. Push against that arm. And then you're going to bring that head back to the middle, other arm across, that one above, turn the head as well. So almost ready now guys, before we get you back in to the gym, uh, we're just finalising that plan of action, we're hoping to get ready to go for the first week of August, okay? And uh, we're going to be doing as much still outside in terms of the classes, but obviously we do have the gym area now and it is getting a little bit rainy outside, we can get that option to get you guys in. And then obviously in terms of the sort of fitness suite, we're going to be also getting that back open as well. So keep your ears out, we'll be sending emails, keeping you in the loop, everything going down. We're just a little bit more delayed because we just want to make sure everything's safe and ready and corona free. <laughs> nice deep breath in to finish with. And shake the legs off, shake the arms off and we'll finish there. Good work guys, another session done, see you on the next one.